This video is provided to you by Bitmachina, the easiest way to buy bitcoins in eastern Ontario. Visit bitmachina.ca and find our nearest location today. In this video, I'm going to show you how to send bitcoin with a blockchain wallet. So here we go. All right, so I'm going to show you how to send bitcoin with the blockchain wallet. Note that I'm using an Android phone and my version is different than the ones that you will find on iPhones and even other Android phones. So let's say I want to initiate a transaction. I will click on transfer. Now I have the choice. I can either click on send or receive. So obviously I select send. And then I select my Bitcoin wallet. At this point, I have two options. I can either copy paste the Bitcoin address of the recipient or I can scan his address. So let's say I scan. So I will click on the QR code icon. At this point, I will try to scan the QR code of the recipient. So I will tilt the device if it's not able to detect it. Now, if it switches to the screen, it means that the phone detected the QR code. So I will click next. At this point, I can decide how much I want to send to the recipient. So let's say I want to send 20 bucks. I will select 20 bucks here. But the thing is, I want to send max. So I will go back. I click send max. Then I will click next. Okay, so this is super important. I can select the fee I want to allocate to the transaction. It's going to have a great influence on the speed of the transaction and on the fees of the transaction. The way it works on the Bitcoin network is the more you pay, the faster your transaction is processed. Note here that if I want, I put a regular um, transaction fee, regular mining fee, it should take about roughly an hour to process. But it depends on the transactions, guys. Really pay attention to it because the thing is that sometimes when there's a lot of activity on, on the network, it can take multiple hours for your transaction to get processed because everyone is competing together. So when there's a lot of transaction on the network, it might be a good idea to select priority. But here, it's only a small transactions and right now, there's not that many transactions on the network. So I'm gonna put regular. But especially if you're sending uh, money to a Bitcoin ATM and you're in a rush and you don't want to wait multiple hours, select priority, especially if it's a large transaction. Okay. Now I'm going to leave it at regular. So at this point, I would simply click send here. No, I have to mark that box. Click send here. That's it. Hey guys, my name is Christoph and I'm the CEO of Bitmachina, a company enabling people to purchase Bitcoin in person. So we have been in business for about two years now and we received a lot of common queries. So therefore we decided to create a series of tutorials and videos explaining how to use the most popular apps in the cryptocurrency space. If you would like to see additional content, feel free to subscribe and leave some comments in the comment section below. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.